I, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bother you on Instagram by sending you pictures of the things that I've made. Hello, welcome to Mums Off Air, and look who's with me. Uh, she is the best-selling author of three cookbooks. She's an actress and mum. It's Lisa Faulkner. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for coming down the gym <laughs> to have a little chat with me. Hello. Uh, this is where we spend all our time, don't Always we? Always in the gym, gym pumping bunnies. these. Yeah, they look at those. They look terrifying. I'm not even going to attempt to lift that. that I have no idea what people do with them. Yeah, I know. I, I don't want to know. No. Actually, how do you keep it? You do a bit of yoga, don't you? I do yoga. Yeah. I mean, okay. I, and I go walking because I thought I've, I hate that thing of going through a fad of going oh yeah I'm going to do this and going to do that and so now I've started doing really long walks because I like doing it and then I keep fit as well so yeah, I do that yoga and idea. walking. Do you have a dog? We just go on no. nice walks? No. no but I go with my sister and she's yeah. got two walking buddies and they like wear lycra and <gasps> properly oh, walk wow. really fast. Do they have gaiters? It's like you know do you take you don't take a compass? No they've you know, do, but they've just got this sort of phone so. thing that goes you have done three miles. After you've gone for a long walk or when you're going on one of your lovely long walks you should take some almonds with you. But that's brilliant. Because I'm is, always thinking yeah. of little things to snack on, especially yeah. when we're walking or when I'm coming out of yoga. Yeah. I like to have a smoothie, but I always want something to eat. So it's a brilliant exactly. idea. It is a really good yes. idea, isn't it? And it's also quite good for the kids. I put them in a little bag, I put them in the car. So, you know, Nelly's quite good at things like that. Yeah. My son's 14, he's, uh, yeah, no, he just wants the bad stuff. No, Billy didn't ever realise that almonds and raisins weren't sweets until she went to school. That's and then she was how like, good a mum you Mama, are. Mama, <laughs> they're not sweets. Like, well, they are really, they're that, just my sweets. So you had three books out I in have. only so many years. It's quite incredible. In fact, if we go back to the beginning of that, Master, Master Chef. Yeah. It really changed your life quite dramatically, didn't it? it? Do you know what? It's really funny because I think when you do, like the normal people that do proper Master Chef, yeah. they go on it because they want their life to change and they want to go and cook. Yeah. But I went on it thinking, well, I really like cooking and I'll go and have a day and then I'll be, you know, they'll send me home and that'll yeah. be it. And I had no idea that I would keep going back and going back and going back. And I was working doing about three other jobs because I thought this job was going to last me a day. And I just kept going and I fell more and more in love with it and thought, I love doing this. This is stuff that I, I cook to relax. I don't mm -hmm. cook for anything else, but I love doing it. And so then I thought, I just want to keep going. Also, look what's in my bag. Your <laughs> tea and cakes. Look, this is delicious. Do you have a favourite recipe in here oh. out of all of them? I mean, how would you choose? Do you this know so what? Many? I think that there's there's a lovely tea loaf. That, yeah. Yeah, and that... Um, Orange almond cake is beautiful. I love it. Mm. Um, I think there's so many. They're easy recipes. None of the everything you can get in the corner shop. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yeah. So I didn't want so to do a book all those, where there's those so many thing. ingredients and you that? go, yeah. what is it? Okay. You can pretty much pick up the book and go, oh, I could make that because I've got most I've of got it in my in. store cupboard. Okay. And and they're easy things. It's not about going. It's scary. It's easy, nice things. I, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bother you on Instagram by sending you pictures of the things that I've made. Please do. And, yeah, maybe I'll post you some so you can taste them, post and, them. and you can give me a kind of score. Yes. I probably won't do that. You can do really. iced rings, party rings with your daughter. She'll love to do them. You can make your own party rings. Yeah, they're in there. That is easy. absolutely fantastic. How, by the way, also at home, how do you decide who cooks? Because there's two cooks yeah. in that household. D well, do you fight? No. No. It's, it's just you. <laughs> no, he, if, if he's working, then I'll cook. If I'm working, he'll cook. So that's, that's what fantastic. it is. Yeah. I'd like to say it's like that with Norman and me at home. It's just, is it if just I'm him? working, he cooks. If he's working, he cooks. <laughs> yeah, but he loves it. Amazing, Lisa Faulkner, for spending some time with us. If you want to check out any of the other films in the series of Mums Off Air, we've got Rosemary Ferguson and also Jodie Kidd. And if you want to, you can drop any comments or if you have any tips or perhaps you've made some of Lisa's cakes and you uh, would like to tell how brilliant they are, then you can drop your messages in. And don't forget, share with friends and subscribe. Thanks, Mums.